Hey guys, Dr. Frank here, founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs, where we help people quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and a whole host of other addictions. In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about irritability and frustration that people often develop when they're quitting nicotine. And we're going to talk about why that's a myth. It's a lie that addiction wants you to believe is true. And we're going to dispel that myth. And I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to deal with that and how you can avoid those withdrawal symptoms when you're quitting vaping, quitting smoking, or quitting nicotine products. If you like the video, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment, ask questions. I try and respond to comments as frequently as I can. And your, your support it helps us out here. I give away all this content for free. And be sure to check out the addictionmindset.com website for a free PDF on quitting nicotine products. Now, let's talk a little bit about this. So when patients work with me and they're in their first 72 hours of quitting nicotine, the first three days, first week, two weeks, they say, I'm so irritable. I'm so frustrated. I, I snapped at my boss. I snapped at my girlfriend. I snapped at my husband, my wife. People report this irritability, this frustration that they deal with. Now, I want to remind you of something. You're not irritable or frustrated because you're quitting nicotine. You're actually irritable and frustrated because of nicotine. And let me explain why that is. When you use a nicotine product, when you consume a nicotine product, it enters your bloodstream, it affects your brain, and it's in your system. Now think about a family dinner where you can't use nicotine. Think about when you're at school and you can't use nicotine. Think about when you're at work and you can't get on a smoke break. You become frustrated, you become irritable, you become upset. And the reason for that is, is because 30 minutes to an hour, your body starts to detox from the nicotine that's floating around in your system. So as your body starts to detox the nicotine, you start to develop a withdrawal symptom. And that withdrawal symptom is a craving. So the body, so the nicotine leaves your body, it starts to detox. Your brain then enters a state of withdrawal. It triggers a craving and you now become frustrated. You now become irritable. You're sitting at that family dinner. You don't want to talk to anyone. You just want to go hit your next stick. You're at work. You're frustrated with customers or clients. You don't want to talk to them because your brain is now focused on nicotine. You've become irritable even though you've had no thought, even perceived notion of quitting a nicotine product. Yet here you are frustrated and irritable even though you already have nicotine flowing through your system. It's because of that triggered craving, that triggered withdrawal symptom. So you're not irritable because you're quitting. You're irritable because nicotine is in your body and that addictive voice is telling you every 30 minutes to an hour that you want more nicotine. Now, I want you to take a brief moment and think about what I just said because this is one of the most damaging parts of nicotine addiction or of substance use addiction. It distracts us from our relationships. It distracts us from our job. It distracts us from the people and the things that we love in life. Our attention, instead of being on those things, the things that we love, is shifted over to nicotine or substances or whatever the addiction is. And it robs us of valuable time from hobbies and people and things that we love. And when we try to put our attention onto things that we actually enjoy doing in life, that addictive voice in your brain lets you know, it reminds you, hey, go get me some more nicotine, go get me some more drug. And here you are becoming irritable, frustrated, and upset. So quitting nicotine, yes, there is that initial phase of irritability, but remember, you experience that on a day-to-day -day basis every 30 minutes to hour that you don't have nicotine flowing through your system. So it's not a new symptom because you're quitting. You deal with that every day of your life, and gosh, what a crappy way to live constantly being stressed, constantly being irritable every 30 minutes to an hour because of nicotine cravings. Now, if you were to just successfully quit, get through the first three days of frustration, which is the worst, the first three days, get to that week mark, that two week mark, that three week mark, that three month mark, that 90 day mark, you're going to be free. You're going to be free of this irritability and this frustration, but don't go into quitting 
thinking that you're irritable and you're frustrated because you're depriving yourself of a vape, because you're depriving yourself of nicotine. This is a lie that that addictive voice in your brain wants you to believe is true. Remember, there's nothing to be irritable about when you're quitting nicotine. Yes, you're going through the detox process. Yes, you're going to get some of those cravings. But remind yourself along the way, this is finally an end to that day-to-day -day irritation that develops every time you can't have a hit of your Nick stick. This is finally an end to those rushed family dinners, to those rushed times with your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, to that rushed work that you did today to get outside and get that next cigarette break. It's finally putting an end to all of those things. So instead of being irritable and upset about that, I think it's something that you can take a moment, rejoice over, and be thankful about. Simple ways to deal with irritability. I know I say the same simple advice over and over again, but getting a good night's sleep, start to regulate your sleep cycle. Your sleep cycle plays such an important role in your mood and your day-to-day -day functions. Eat healthier, exercise, do things that make you feel good. Do things that make you feel better. Geez, for the heck, for the love of God, try some deep breathing, try some meditation. It takes two seconds to just take a few deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling out through your nose. So I hope that helps. Again, I gave some really quick tips at the end there, but really it's the mindset. And that's what we're all about here, helping people quit at Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching. We're all about the mindset surrounding nicotine addiction, the mindset surrounding substance abuse addiction, and helping you see through those lies that that addictive voice is telling you in your head. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out the next video, 72 hours of nicotine withdrawal to help you get through the first few days. And be sure to stay tuned for more great content. Don't get irritable. This is a time to celebrate, not a time to be frustrated.